Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is my channel Chesapeake Chris. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to take a little break from talking about kayaks but we are still going to talk about fishing. Well we're going to cover different types of hooks, knots, and some tools used to tie snell knots. This series of videos covering hooks, knots, and knot tying tools I'm probably going to do this over a series of about three or four videos because like I said before, most people don't like long videos and neither do I. The beagles are pretty excited the videos aren't long. You may not have seen some of these tools before. I'm going to show you how they work. So stick around. There's a lot of different styles of hooks out there for when you're fishing bait instead of using lures. Um, a real popular style is the snelled hooks. They come already with the fishing line on them. You can buy them in bulk like this, big packs of them. Some of them have little barbs on the back that help keep the bait on there. That's a pretty popular hook. Myself, I like to use circle hooks. They're actually designed to turn and hook the fish, preferably in the corner of the mouth, hook them properly. And I can't find these already snelled with the line on them, so I use these and I tie my own, I snell them myself. Uh, so I went on YouTube and I was looking around of how to tie snell knots. Well, you can tie them by hand, but when the hooks are really small, um, people like me that are a little older who's Dexterity isn't quite as good. My eyes are going bad. I was looking for a tool to help me tie snell knots onto smaller hooks. Well, I found a lot of tools and that's what we're going to cover today. We're going to look at tools used to snell fish hooks. First, let me begin by saying that when you're snelling circle hooks, it's very important as to what direction the line goes through the eyelet. If you're going to snell a circle hook, you always stick the line through the hook from the point end. If you're sticking the line through the eyelet first and then tying the snell knot. So you stick it through that direction and then you go and tie your snell knot. Some of these tools I'm going to use, you'll see, like this one, I'll wrap the line first, then I'll put the hook in there and I'll pull it tight, but the line won't be through the eyelet yet. And the last thing you got to do is put it through the eyelet. So when you tie a snell knot with one of those tools, because you want your line coming in from this direction, once you get the knot on there, then what you have to do is you have to take your line and you have to actually stick it through the eyelet from the side that doesn't have the hook point and pull it through. So you want to spin your knot around a little bit on the shaft so that you can run that line through the eyelet this way and then that's the same as if you were starting and you were coming in this way. You should always have it going through the eyelet that direction when you're done so the circle hook works properly when the line is pulled and it helps to pull the hook towards the fish, the point of the hook, and not away from him. So we're going to start with this tool here. You can buy them online anywhere. They're pretty inexpensive. They're designed actually to tie snell knots or nail knots. We're going to use it to tie a snell knot. This tool comes with that little pointy part there used to clean the eyelet of your hook out if you need to. Now this tool's got this little plate on it right here. So you start by taking yourself a length of fishing line, leave, you know, quite a few inches over here, and you lay it across that plate and you put your thumb on it to hold it. And you take this fishing line through the end like that, down across, and then you start to wrap it around this tool from the narrow end to the wide end. Don't overlap your loops, and you wrap around six seven eight times depending on your fishing line and then you put your finger on them loops just like that to hold them then you take your hook and you stick your hook up through the tool i let first and you run it underneath all those wraps that you made then you take that end that you wrapped around and you stick that back through the tool under all those loops along the shank of the hook pull it out like that now, once you get to this point, here's the 
part that's really critical, you got to pull really quick to get this tool to work right. So you grab your line that you ran through there, you, and the tag, and you hold down on that pressure plate, and then you just pull that line real quick with a jerk motion. And it'll put the knot on the shank. You start to tighten it up a little bit. Slide it up towards the eyelet. And then this tool has this little hole in the end of it. I put a key ring in it, but with this little hole here, you can stick the hook down in that hole and you can really tighten your snell knot up. And that's how that tool works. Clip your tag end off. Wow, how's it getting dull? Clip your tag end off and you got yourself a nice snell knot on your hook. Here's another tool. You can get offline pretty easily. It's pretty inexpensive. It's designed to tie snell knots, I believe. If you unscrew the handle, it's got a couple short pointy needles there to clear out the eyelet of your hook if you need to. So let's see how this thing works. Okay, you start by loosening up this thumb screw and clamping your hook in there. Put your hook in there, tighten down the thumb screw and clamp it down pretty good. And try to clamp it in there so that the point of the hook doesn't stick out too much farther than the end of the tool. Then you get yourself a fishing line and with circle hooks, when you run fishing line through the eyelets for snelling like this, you here's the side where the point is. You always want to run it through the side where the point is. So you pull it through your eyelet like that, and then you wrap it around these two posts. Have yourself a couple inches of tag line here. So it should look something like that. Then cross that tag line over, the shank of the hook, and then you start to twirl this thing. And when you twirl it, it's going to wrap the line around the shank of your hook. You wrap it around there about six, seven, eight times, depending on the size of the line you're using. And try not to overlap your wraps. Try and keep them good and straight. And then after you get it wrapped around there six, seven, eight times, put your finger on them loops so they don't come out. And then you run this tag line around that post closest to the hook. And then you push these down. You push them down all the way. That will release the loop from that back post, but this front post will still hold it. Then you start to tighten down your knot on the shank of your hook. Then you unclamp this thing, loosen the thumb screw, pull your hook out, and that will make sure that the tag line pulls through your snell knot. Then you can start to tighten your snell knot down a little more, slide it up the shank of the hook towards the eyelet. And then this tool has a little hole in it here. You can actually hook your hook in there and use that to really pull your snell knot tight. Trim off your tag end. And there you go. You got a nice snelled hook. So that was part one of the series of hooks, knots, and knot tying tools. Part two, I'll probably release in just a couple days. Part two, we'll continue with some more tools designed to tie snell knots. And then when we're all done with all the tools, then we're going to do a short video on how to tie knots without tools and the knots that I use to snell hooks, to tie swivels on, things of that nature. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys know to drill. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, share this video, subscribe so you get notified when my next video comes out, and I'll see you on the next video.